Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragonspear. Alright, I uh, went ahead and redid the inventory for all of our characters. We should be fully equipped with what I want them to be using. Uh, one thing that I uh, ended up doing with uh, um, Minsk is I went with the Gift of Peace. Um, because... Uh, uh, it's got the plus 20% uh, fire resistance. Electrical resistance is nice. That means that he'll also be 70% resistance uh, against electricity. He's already 100%... Oh, oops. Forgot to sw switch the, the belts. You've got that. All right. Okay, so uh, the belt of antipode. Uh, cold resistance plus 100% doubles all fire damage, fire base damage taken. Uh, I'm not sure if that's applied before or after resistances, but with the um, Ring of Fire resistance, 40%, 60%, so he's either going to be taking only 80% of the normal damage or something else that's a little bit more complicated, doubling and then 60%, you know, 40% of that. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, this... 20% cold resistance is uh, um, worthless, but it's fine. Uh, we get a good, uh, um, you know, armor class on him anyway, but uh, uh, basically making him resistant to a whole bunch of the uh, elemental attacks, that's pretty good. Um, can we see that anywhere? Resistances. Co fire minus 40, cold 120, electricity 70. Hmm. I am here. I'm curious. Let's do that. So 60. Oh, so it doesn't actually double, it's just minus 100. Hmm. So that means that he is still... Oh no, it's minus like 200, I guess. Well, it's still better than otherwise, and being completely immune to uh, cold damage is pretty good. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go with this. Let's go ahead and equip that. Everyone else has stuff equipped. And uh, we'll go ahead and head Certainly. down. Uh, I do need to get some more uh, bullets for Dynair. And she doesn't have a robe, but that's fine. She's good, so she can't wear the robe that I had Indeed. for Nira. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Indeed. All right, let's go ahead and head on out. I have a few items that I can sell. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Indeed. All right, let's talk to you first. Okay, let's go for weapons, and pop on over to you. Okay, can't sell the darts, so I'll just drop those. Let's go ahead and sell all those, and... Where are the bullets plus two? Oh boy, that is going to be expensive. Alright, well I think I can get uh, three of those. Yeah. Oh! I was thinking, uh, it was stacks of 20. Oh, stacks of 8. Well, okay. Um, trying to remember what you've got 40 of. Electricity. Okay. Let's just get some of those so that we can uh, max that out. Just buy one of those. All right. Almost no money. It's fine. Nah, you don't really need it. I'll, I'll let you hold on to it. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and talk to this, uh, Audemar person here. Kalar Argent is a madwoman, chosen of the gods, or possibly both. 
Whatever the case, she's clearly dangerous. Take care on your journey. Uh, do I know you? Name's Audemar Corwin. Oh, oh, right. Corwin's father. Okay. Gauntlet, Flaming Fist, retired. I'm traveling north with my daughter, Shale. See to it she returns safely. My granddaughter, Roma, has already lost a father. I'll not see her lose Shale, too. Farewell, Elmandretta. Wait, is this... is this your kid? I want my mommy. Mama, who is that? Is that the hero? Captain Corwin, who is this delightful child? I'm not a child. I'm, uh, one, two, three, four, five... Five years old. I stand corrected. Treasure your years, whatever they nu their number, child, for they will pass quickly. I stand this corrected. This is my daughter, Roma. Roma, this is Elmandretta. I know you. You killed Saravak. Are you going to kill Kalar too? Uh, I'm hoping it won't come to that. They'll do what they have to. Just like you? Exactly like that. Have no fear, Roma. I'll make sure nothing happens to your mother. Your mother's a tough lady. You're lucky to have her. I'm going to go anywhere else while you finish up with her. <laughs> uh, that's often how I feel. Have no fear, Roma. I'll make sure nothing happens to your mother. Mama doesn't need you. She can take care of herself. Oh, I like this little one. She has a fire in her belly. You were like all the way on the other side of the uh, um, courtyard. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's got to get going. Okay. I learned that Captain Corwin is a mother. Uh, do you say... No, you're not going to say anything different. What about you, now that I've uh, stolen Oi, your cleric? With you. Oh, will you now? What can I do for you, Master Hammerlust? No, you won't. Any particular words, or shall we just select them randomly? Water, xylophone, crepuscular. Oh, that's a good one. Don't forget xylophone. Oh, wait, you said that already. <laughs> you think you're funny, do you? I have my moments. Forgive me, I see you're in no mood for humor. What can I do for you? Oh, I think you're funny. Oh, I have my moments. Not as many as you like to think. Hey! Hush you. You stole me from Duke and Dro. Give her back, or by Abathor I'll split you in two, crowned a crotch. Abathor? Aren't you a Duergar? Shouldn't that be Ladigur or uh, Deep Duera? Well, you don't seem like a psionicist. Viconia is her own person, Durgar. Thou hast no claim upon her. Ah, look at Dina Air sticking up for the evil elf. The hells I don't. She wouldn't even be here if not for me. You don't get to just shuffle in and steal her out from under me nose without so much of a buyer le as a buyer leave. Be gone. I want nothing more to do with you. Yeah, yeah. Listen to the lady. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he, he just vanished. Okay. Well, I guess we can uh, talk to Corwin. I'm pretty sure this guy is not going to say anything different out here. This is an odd lamppost. Just the caravans at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Like right in the middle of the street. It should be like on the sidewalk. Uh, I'll never be ready, but it's time to go regardless. Not quite yet. Ready. I'll never be ready, but it's time to go regardless. Let's go! Oh, you walked right through me! Oh my god! Yay, give him hell, Zelmandretta! Aw, oh, they like me. They really like me. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Saravok? How do you know that? That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. Is that true, Elmandretta? Are you a child of Baal? You question the hero of Baldur's Gate? I can handle this, Captain Corwin. Ignore them, Corwin. They do, and I shall answer them. That's a bad idea. Uh, you're probably right. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. 
I know you've suffered at Sarvok's hands. I know you fear what the future holds, what with the with the heretic Kalar driving good people from their homes across the Sword Coast. I hear your cries for justice, and I swear to you, I shall end this threat to us all. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I am a Ballspawn, like my half-brother Saravok before me. And I am your only shield against what comes, your only sword. Only one with the only one with the divine coursing through their veins could hope to thwart the child of a god. And only one and only one can end the threat of Kalar Argent. Now stand aside, lest you feel my wrath. Now let's go with the first one. Well done. Let's be on our way before some other wind turns the crowd against us. I'm the hero. That's not going to happen. Did Captain my reputation Sheil go up? Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. The pyramids! Characterize these oh, those bastards! Necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Nah. Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? So necessary sacrifices, like burning the fields. It's not like you've got a massive German army after you. And what of your goals? Well, I recognize that voice. Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. There's I hobgoblins will see and justice done there. and restore them to the light. Uh, game. Game has decided to hang up a little bit on me. Yes, quite honorable. Hope that didn't but break the recording. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Apparently he does. Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games, and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. Heffernan, that once, is... my lady. That character has wings. We will have words about this, Scarred One. Perhaps. This is the most fun I've had in weeks. All right, well, hopefully the uh, recording didn't Ah, it has been break. too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. All right, so we got Petruscus, Fog, Ms. Henna, Glint, Rafus again, Belagarm, Corwin, Thaird. Um, let's talk to Petruscus. See if you have something different to say. This and that to be done. No time to stay in chatter. How does this evening find me? Well, I guess it would be evening with when we're making camp. Uh, well, thanks. You are... you are saying the same thing. Okay. I am the law, know what I mean, huh? Who likes the forest? And I do too! There is much to nibble here. Ah, uh, I like Boo. Alright, uh, who's this Glint fellow? Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Oh, uh, hello! Uh, excuse me, I've got to go. Ah, uh, really? I don't believe we've met. I am Elmandretta. Yes, 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 you are, aren't you? That's fantastic. Well, if you'll excuse me. Uh, I don't believe I caught your name. My name? Oh, right, right, my name. I'm Glint. Glint, Three Eyes Gardener Simpson. Pleased to meet you. Son of Son of Gardener, huh? Um, th 
Three eyes? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, an old nickname. That's how many eyes Mom said she had to keep on me to make sure I stayed out of trouble. Turns out she really needed four eyes, but that... That's a long story. Ah, uh, don't be rude to people who need glasses. Uh, a story I'd be most interested in hearing if you're willing to share it. Would you consider joining me for a time? Uh, all right. Uh, yes. Join you. I can do that. That was awfully abrupt. Okay. So, he is a cleric thief. And he can level up. Uh, let's just get his, uh, open locks and find traps up to 95. Um, move silently and hide in shadows. We'll, uh, I guess we'll, we'll just get equaled out. There we go. And, uh, yeah, he, so he's now, uh, level 7, level 8. Spell-wise, he can use up to level 4 spells. But, I mean, I already have a thief. I suppose a cleric thief wouldn't be so bad, but... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the way that gnomes often get portrayed in uh, games. So, what has he got on him? Uh, Potion of Invisibility. We'll take that. Uh, Elixir of Health. We will take that. Potion of Extra Healing, we'll take that. Sling plus one, Morning Star plus one. I guess I'll leave him with his his stuff, but I will take his bullets. I'll distribute them later. And he's got a belt. Belt of the Cunning Rogue. Ooh, that sounds good. This wide leather belt has been dyed a deep magenta. Is that really magenta? That doesn't look like magenta to me. Uh, the belt was created over a decade ago by a human thief who saw his larcenous activities as a means of worshipping Mask. All his burglaries, burglaries were undertaken with prayers to Mask, and he hoarded his stolen goods at, an, at a hidden altar to the God of Thieves. He favored purple clothing, believing it was a color the God preferred. He would be wrong. Mask prefers black and red. Uh, let's see. The uh, thief was eventually caught and killed... Oh, uh, actually, I missed something. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, and he crafted this belt to match his ensemble. The thief was eventually caught and killed on one of his missions, and the belt confiscated by the city guard. The next night, the belt vanished from a locked chest in the guardhouse, uh, though whisked away by mask so that it could continue to serve the god's ends. Even today, the belt often finds its way into the path of those who will put it to good use. The pouches attached to the belt contain a number of small tools, wires, picks, and blades that can be used to pick locks and disable traps. 15% uh, open locks and find traps. Sounds good. We'll take it. And I have a spare bell. There we go. Probably don't need all of those potions on you guys, but, uh, you know, whatever. Oops. Forgot to uh, get rid of those. Maybe I'll just put them in a chest or something so that they're not, like, always on the ground. Uh, do do do. Yep, we can take those. Okay, so uh oh, you also have leather armor plus two. Eh. Okay. Who else do we have? Um. Indeed. Are you gonna say anything different, Fog? Oi, hero! I'll have words with you. Don't forget xylophone. Oh nope. wait, you said that already. No, I think you're funny. You stinking worm! I should have your head off for that. You stole my bloody drow. Give it back, or by Abathor, I'll split you in two, crown to crotch. Viconia is her own person, Durgar. Be gone. I want nothing more to do with you. Okay. And what about you, Mizena? I am Mizena, faithful of Tempus. Praise be to the Lord of Battles. Mizena? That's an unusual name. I don't think I've heard it before. I created the name myself several years ago. My birth name proved unsuitable. Um, how did you invent this new name for yourself? When I was born, my parents thought me a boy and raised me as such. In time, we all came to understand I was truly a woman. 
I created my new name from syllables of different languages. All have special meaning to me. It is the truest reflection of who I am. Okay. Um, thanks for sharing your story with me. I have another question for you. Tempest, the lord of strength and arms and military might, will lead us to victory. I'm sure he will. Do you have any healing or potions I could purchase? Quartermaster Belagarm handles supplies. I may be able to help you with cleric services, though. The Lord of Battle's favor is a handy thing to have, especially in times like these. Uh, And you just have healing. Okay. So yeah, I need to talk to uh, Belagarm here uh, to get items. So, is, is this the character that, that people were actually up in arms at, about? And no, you don't need to answer. That's rhetorical. I mean, if so, unless there's more to it a little bit later, that's like throwaway lines. That's that's nothing. And people were pissed off about that? Probably have more to say about it near the end. I I don't want to start a uh, another thing in the comments, so please, actually, no one say anything. I would appreciate it. Uh, if it gets out of hand, I will start deleting comments. Anyway, moving on. I need a swig of some strong dwarven hail. Well, good for you. Looking for a place to rest, hero? I can find you room in one of these tents. Um. Yeah, what do you do here? I assist the quartermaster in properly distributing the camp supplies. I'm in charge of tents, sleeping boat rolls, blankets, and the like. Can I find you a place to sleep? Uh, not right now. Let me know if you want to rest later on. Okay. And Camp Corwin. Set. Watch us too. We've been marching hard, covered a lot of ground, but we've still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest, yourself included. Tonight might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge. Uh, rest if you want. I'm heading up the road away. I don't want any surprises before we cross the winding water. Mind if I join you? I do better in the city than the woods, but perhaps I can help, and maybe learn a thing or two. Bents can take care of the camp. Uh, let's see... Yeah, join me. I could use someone of your skill at my side. Alright then. Well, goodbye, Glint. <laughs> you served your purpose. <laughs> and she can level up. You want me to leave? Seriously? We were having such a good time together. Uh, I'm afraid this is where we part ways, Glint. At least for the moment. Stay here. I may return for you later. Studying still isn't really my, in my nature, but if that's what you want, I'll do it as best I can. Farewell for now, and later, all the time. I don't know why I said now. That was unnecessary, really. Right. Farewell. Okay, so Corwin is an archer, so that's a type of ranger. Um... I might have some items that I can give her. I'll probably do some distribu distributing of stuff in a bit. Uh, let's see. Halberd plus one. That's pretty standard. Do you actually have skill in that? Yep. <laughs> Lots of skill in uh, longbow. All right. And Corwin's bow plus one. This enchanted bow enhances the wielder's dexterity, allowing them to fire more accurately. Every so often, a shot will explode in a shower of wooden splinters that sprout and grasp the target firmly, preventing any escape. Dexterity plus one, 10% chance per hit of entangling the target for three rounds. Uh, plus two Thaco, plus three damage. Okay, little complaint here. Um, oh, and apparently usable by Corwin. Only. So, no taking this away and giving it to anyone else, even though it requires 18 strength. Yeah, that means it's a it's a special uh, weapon, but come on, I can totally use it. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe it's uh, taking into account strength bonuses, because that's something that powerful bows should do. Um... But it does remind me that, uh, so I, I got into an argument online uh, some time ago about what exactly determines the type of weapon it is, magic weapon it is. You know, there are 
creatures that can only be hit by magic weapons, or creatures that can only be hit by plus one magic weapons, or plus two weapons, or plus three, or plus four. There might be one, one that can only be hit by plus five. Uh, but, regardless. Um, and it's, it's the bonus to hit. That's what determines whether it's a plus one weapon or not. And I had this conversation because someone insisted that the Shalele spell, which gives a plus one bonus to hit, is just a magical weapon and not a plus one weapon. And it's like, no. It's, it's that magical plus. And this is why this, you know, if this is not taken into uh, account strength, this would be wrong. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's see, arrows plus one, arrows of fire, arrows plus two, a helmet. I should probably give her... I'll, I'll probably go through and give her some stuff. I've got that, that belt laying around. Uh, Corwin's armor plus two. The suit of light chain... Just totally triggering me here. Uh, that should be light male armor. If you're going to say, if you're going to use armor, it's male. Whatever. Uh, was commissioned for Captain Shale Corwin by her father. A gift uh, for her when she first joined the Flaming Fist. It has been crafted to fit her form and no one else's. I don't know that that really works with male. Uh, the usual lightness and enchantments of the armor it kept the suit from interfering with her abilities, despite its metal composition. Uh, movement speed plus one, magic resistance plus 10%. That's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, we can uh, we can go ahead and just uh, toss this belt over to her right now. Uh, it's nearing the end of the episode, so I'm just gonna uh, level her up afterwards. Let's uh, let's check out what's in some of these containers. Whatever you like. Nothing. Ooh. Uh. Cure serious wounds, some money. Couple potions. That is locked. Bastard sword and lots of throwing axes. Well, that's worthless. I'll toss in the uh, um, uh, darts done. in a moment. Let's just uh, talk to a couple other people. Ooh, groundhog. Hello? Good day, and hello to you. Greetings, hero. I am Soralis, a wizard and employee of the Flaming Fist. Uh, do you sell items, Soralis? I provide arcane support to the troop and help uh, advise the commanders on magical matters. I'm not a merchant, but if you require gear, you can speak to Quartermaster Belagam. Have a good day. Oh, no, oh, alright. Uh, hello, Prin. Oh, hello. Apologies for not greeting you sooner. I was a bit distracted. Didn't notice you. No apology necessary. I didn't want to disturb your song. He, he was singing. I probably look a little strange, don't I? This is a very unusual stone. It fascinates me. Uh, it does look old. What's the writing carved upon it? I wish I could tell. Uh, it's not natural. I was walking the coastway, singing as I worked out a new song when I heard the stone humming. Intriguing. Was it humming a particular song? Perhaps trying to communicate with you? At first I thought I might be going mad, but there are men here like this all over the side of the crossing. They all respond to my humming. When I sing more than one, I sing to more than one, the tones last longer. They stop eventually, though. I try to find all of them, but the forest is too dangerous. Uh, thanks for showing your sh sharing your story. I'll watch for these men here. Can I try singing to your men here? I see no reason why not. Just go right up and right up to it and sing. Anything else I can help you with? I don't believe so. I'll watch out for these men here. If you find them all and learn what they're singing, could you return and let me know? Oh, learn why they're singing? Of course. I'll be here singing to the stone. Tra la 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 la. I need to find all six ancient men here in the area. Uh, the men here, uh, let's see, runes eroded by the time, by time, mark one face of this tall, s okay. Uh, the men here emits a constant low-pitched hum. Uh, hello, can you understand me? Apparently not. Savanna, you're pretty charming, can you try singing to the men here? Hmm. Uh, hum to the men here? The men here's hum grows louder. Ah. 
Okay, so I need to uh, do that with all of them. Uh, an image on its surface shows a man with a billowing cloud issuing from his mouth. A second man, uh, clad in robes, stands with his arms outstretched and magical energy flying from his hand. The energy has struck the cloud and divided it into six pieces. Okay. Your companionship is not so grating as I feared. Oh, thank you. All right, well... They mock me! Me! This cannot stand. This will not stand. Huh. Okay, well, uh, just as a, a quick note, um, I actually am re-recording this episode, uh, so when I start up the next one, we'll go talk to Edwin, but I will not have noticed that he appeared at the end of the next episode, so I will seem surprised at the beginning of the next. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.